Disclaimer, this isn't a video teaching you how to get the Pythagorean identities. This is a video on how to remember the Pythagorean identities. This is not the only shortcut. This is the way we remember the formulas. If you're not in calculus, your discretion is advised. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. This is a way to remember the Pythagorean identities. I think this shortcut is, might be well known or known by others, but I have not been aware of this shortcut up until now, so I wanted to share. So the first Pythagorean identity would be sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Now, this is the one you really need to know in order to know the other two I'm going to show you. Before, I would have to try to memorize the other two. But now, here's the way where you can remember them. First off, you can divide them by cosine. So if you divide the whole thing by cosine x, or cosine squared x, sorry. So divide everything by cosine squared x. You would get... Uh, tangent squared x, because tangent is the same thing as sine over cosine, plus cosine divided by cosine, or cosine squared x divided by cosine squared x equals 1, equals 1 over cosine squared x, it's the same thing as secant squared x. So that's the other Pythagorean identity. And now for the third one, you just divide by sine instead of cosine. So, divided by sine squared x you would get, for this one, you would get 1 plus cotangent is the same thing as cosine over sine so you would get cotangent squared x equals and 1 over sine is the same thing as so those are the three Pythagorean identities and ways to remember them. Now you can also just, depending on the problem, you might have to move things around, like make sine squared x equal 1 minus cosine squared x, or anything of the sort for all three. But if you know this, and know that you have to divide by sine squared x and cosine squared x to get either of these two, you'll be fine in memorizing these. Alright, now for the other identities. We have the sine 2x and cosine 2x. Both of these are not that hard to remember, but it, it, they are harder to remember because of the cosine 2x being so complicated in its formulas. So the easier one to remember is sine 2x, since it only has one formula, and that is the 2 sine x cosine x. This formula does not change and always be similar. It will always be the same no matter what you do with it. And the easiest way to remember it is the 2 moves on, moves outside, and you add a cosine x to the formula. So that's a simple way to remember sine 2x. Alright, now moving on to the more complicated one, we have cosine 2x. Now you really only need to memorize one formula, and then from there you can do different things to get the other two formulas of cosine 2x. The one you need to remember is <laughs> this is the funny, this is the easiest but... way to remember it. <laughs> All right, so now to get to the formula, start off. If you start off with replacing cosine squared x, you take the original function or the original identity up here, and you just make cosine squared x by itself, and you'll get one minus sine squared x. If you take one minus sine squared x, replace the cosine squared x here, you'll get one minus two sine squared x. This is another form version of this formula. So now you have two different versions of the same formula. The same applies if you replace the sine squared x. So if you put the sine squared x over here by itself, you get 1 minus cosine squared x. Take that and replace the sine squared x over here, and you'll get the formula of 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And that is the third formula for cosine 2x. It's a lot easier to remember. If you remember, you can just replace the replace either cosine squared x and sine squared x with the different forms of the each two. You can get each formula easier that way instead of remembering each of these as separate formulas. So to recap, 
you really only need to know this formula, this formula or identity, and this identity. If you know these three and know how to get these two from this one and know how to get these two from this one and you just have to know this one, you'll be able to uh, keep remembering the identities without having to memorize each of them separately. So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. So this is a way to know uh, the formulas or the Pythagorean okay, identities. Sorry, sorry. Just look at the stupid camera when you're saying it. You're like... All right, fine, fine, You're fine. looking at this, like you're this close. Hi! To <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like you do it.